Ladies and most of you gentlemen, today we're going to talk about dungeon gear. More specifically, I'm going to be showing off the brand new leather dungeon set that drops from Cold Tier and Dungeons for the Alliance while leveling and the Horde once they hit max level. You're probably wondering why I haven't made videos on other dungeon sets for the Cold Tier and Zandalar dungeons. Well, the main reason for this is that they aren't really breathtaking. Well, apart from the Alliance cloth, that shit's just amazing. And by now, everyone has pretty much seen them all. They've been around for the world to see pretty much since day one of the alpha, which was back in January. But as of this brand new build, Blizzard have added sets for the leather in Kul Tiran dungeons and the male in Zandalar dungeons. And if you want to see a Zandalar male set preview, whack a like on this video and let me know down below if that's something you want to see on the channel. So as of this video, the sets are not live on the beta and it's only the looks of them that has been data mined so far. Well, the items are there, but they just don't have the new appearances yet. I've also found some game files suggesting that this set in particular might have something we've wanted for a while now, but more on that later. So let's start off by showing you guys what this set looks like in its current form. Okay, so this set comes in four colors, which are known in the game files as red, blue, green, and black, all looking great. My personal favorite being the red. I would imagine that some of these colors will possibly be for normal only and some heroic and mythic possibly. The aesthetic of the set is great and it really captures the seafaring pirate look while still having the cult tier and traits that we've seen on NPCs around the island. The shoulders on this set are really unique and they aren't actually identical. The one on the left is slightly larger and features an anchor on it. Obviously the standout of the set is the awesome helm, combining the pirate hat and the defiance mask to make an awesome combination which can easily be matched with other leather sets making an awesome transmog. Now onto the most interesting part of the set. So when you look at it from the front it looks like the set should be some sort of coat, similar to the ones you've seen humans and Kul Tiran humans wearing all around the continent. But as you can see this set is indeed flat and doesn't feature any 3D assets apart from the belt buckle. You'll also notice that the colour scheme is identical to some of the coats that we've seen previously. If you want a full breakdown of the coats that are currently in the game, check out my video on it, there's a link in the top right of the screen right now. So one of the biggest clues pointing to the set being incomplete comes in the form of the icon for the chest. In this icon you can very clearly see there is a collar shown, and please don't tell me that they're gonna have an icon like that with a chest like this. Don't tease us like that, Blizzard. Beyond that, there are actually four skin files for this set that would match a collar perfectly, but as of right now there are no model files for this particular skin. But I'm not 95% sure that this set will contain a 3D collar and potentially even an entire coat once the art team have designed the coats for all races, because as of right now, collars and coats are only usable by humans and Kul Tiran humans. So this is a simulation on what it could potentially look like with the 3D collar, and it's not too bad in my opinion. And this is a rough idea of what the whole set could look like with a coat and collar. Obviously it's a little rough around the edges, but you get the idea. It's definitely possible and I'm just so damn hyped for player coats and it'd be a massive missed opportunity if Blizzard do not deliver them for player characters. So that's pretty much all I've got for the new Kul Tiran leather set. Overall, without the 3D assets, it's actually a really cool looking set, and honestly, I think it shits all over the other sets that we currently have for the Kul Tiran dungeons. Maybe not the cloth one. And they've really outdone themselves on this set. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on this set, and whether you think you'll end up having a full coat attached, or simply just a collar. Here's another look at that skin file which I mentioned before, and see if you can make any sense of it. I'd love to know what you guys can come up with. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my maze of patrons and YouTube sponsors, you guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in that way, links are down below. So leave a like on this video if you liked it guys, and subscribe if you haven't. I also have a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. Link is down below. And with that, I'll see you next time.